Welcome to another episode. In this one, I just wanted to show you I found a stone build. Uh, let me let me see if I can um, let me show you where I am. So the location's 83, negative 83, comma 28, and <clears throat> you can see the glyphs. The moon, sunrise, Y, moon, sunrise, moon, triangles, triangles, galaxy, sunrise, 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 in the lower left-hand corner. Um, okay, so what you got here is a stone base that somebody built. And if you look at the ground out here, it kind of matches the area. Notice he has the glass tops. Um, he, the landing pad. Notice he put the doors by the landing pad. He does have some batteries with his solar panels, but not enough. People don't usually use stone for building, so I thought I would show um, this base just so you can get, you know, maybe some ideas. In fact, let me um, see who did this. This was done by Omnigorn called Query Mober Base. It's near here. He's got a galactic trade terminal. He put a base terminus. He's got, um, in this supply depot, he's got activated India. He's got another one for sulfurin. So he's got the base close to a gas and a mineral. Ran on, running on solar solar power with the nice glass uh, uh, roofs. Here's the it's um, on planet Tidwo 17, which has salvageable scrap, and it's in the Anjuku. Star system, which is actually one jump from the center of 14, a uh, galaxy number 14, Odawa Giri. Okay, I just wanted you to see how somebody uh, worked with stone to build uh, to build a base. You don't see that too often, and I like highlighting fairly straightforward base builds. Um, I find the complicated base builds kind of discouraging as I'm not that, that good at it. Thank you for watching.